Hi friends, welcome to the 110th edition of the FD Zone. This edition we are presenting a sensitive portrayal of a musician, a teenage musician. His name is Kajang Wong. He's from uh, Hong Kong. And the filmmaker, Chung Hing Woi. I hope the pronunciation is right. So, uh, he himself is a musician and he was following this musician for about uh, uh, six years. Uh, so, let's watch this film and uh, if you would like to have a discussion afterwards, actually we can have a discussion of. Thank you. We would like to listen to you actually about this film. Actually, how do you enjoy this film? Say very the the subject of the film and the construction of the film. Anyone would would like to make a comment on that? It's a very complicated topic, and for China to choose to choose this as a subject of getting to know it okay. through music, to know its culture, was a very good idea. They brought it up. They've done a very good introduction to their culture to us. Uh, the intensity of the person was fantastic, but I never saw him creating his own music. Always he was reading from the pages. So was he always uh, repeating whatever the masters gave him, or was he also composing at, at times? That's the only one composition that he did. Of his yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the only composition. Yeah, in some, some places actually we have seen uh, he's uh, doing Bithon, Otherwise, actually, I think he composes for himself. Right? No, no. He's, yes. like she said, only one composition is his. The rest of it is all from the masters. Yeah. But uh, it was really a fantastic experience. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the film didn't have a linear narrative. So it, was, it had a very... Uh, so why, why it should be that, that complicated structure he chose? Uh, uh, I was uh, wondering, actually, why he chose that complicated. He was cutting in between time. He was jumping from... <laughs> so. I mean, I just said, I think it's because the music is so complicated and complex. So maybe that's why it's not a linear of music. Anyone else? Yeah, in fact, I was wondering that uh, complex structure this film had. It's a complex character. The subject itself is very complicated. That person, he's always uh, connecting humanity. Even that uh, very early childhood, he's talking about humanity and connect everything with humanity. So maybe uh, someone else could react to this point, actually, sir. Uh, see, as so far as the structure is concerned, I think it's it's essentially to bring out the drama of a child who, at the age of ten or eleven, was so prodigal, and then he kind of fades away. So that fading away is actually brought to uh, you know at, at at the kind of a climax where. We, we also come to know that he has faded away, that there are other pianists now who are performing much better, whereas as, as a child he was so good. So if he had started with this premise, probably the drama would have been lost. And then the reason why that happened, what has happened in his life, his parents getting divorced, the personal life getting difficult, he is becoming more philosophical. Also the way he starts questioning his own involvement uh, with music and, and uh, what it means for him. So all those things have come in layers because of this narrative structure. Although I did feel the editing a little too snappy. I would have liked if it, it, it was a little more lingering, you know, you, you are allowed to be with the music for a little more time, better time. So uh, a little too fast paced editing for me, for the subject, but I think the structure of the narrative is essentially to bring out the drama of his life and, and to kind of layer how he has 
grown into a very complex person. Yeah. Any other comments? Okay. Okay, then uh, we wind up the session. Actually, we will announce the next program by Monday. Please uh, keep checking your mails. Thank you for coming. Okay, bye. <laughs>